Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain the edit cursor in Waveform. Now we're looking at Waveform 11, but this feature was added as of Waveform 10. The cursor that you normally see on the screen is used to position the basically the playhead during playback like this. Now that same cursor is used for edits. If I select a clip and then position this anywhere I want, say I want to cut this beat, then I position it, press the forward slash, you might call it the slash key, and then I can position it or reposition it by dragging the cursor to the new location and then pressing the slash. And then say I wanted to maybe delete a section. Now to play back, I need to reposition the cursor back ahead of my edit to play back. So the point of the edit cursor is to allow you to do those edits without moving your actual cursor that's going to be used for playback. So I'll just undo these things here. I'll just go to set an option. The option return cursor to start position when play stops. This is particularly useful if you're using the separate edit cursor. So I can position it here, go out here and do my edits, and then play back over my edits, stop, and then it will allow me to make some more edits and changes without moving the cursor. Now to set this up, go to settings, and then go to the general tab, and then you'll see here's the option, use the edit cursor position for editing operations. So I'm going to click to turn that on, and then when I go back over here, you'll notice that the edit cursor follows my mouse pointer around as I move it around on the screen. So all I need to do is make sure I've got my clip selected and then I can position zoom like this. I'm going to cut out this beat here. Hit the slash key. Hit the slash key. I'll select this and delete it and my playback cursor has not moved so I'll play back. And then when I stop, the playback cursor goes back where it was. So this allows me quite a bit of freedom to do these kinds of edits. I can do these kinds of edits without moving the cursor around. Now in that example, I had snap turned off. If I press Q to turn snap on, you'll see that the edit cursor follows along to the grid increments. It snaps to the grid increments. I'm going to go here and you'll see that the edit cursor also allows me to set the in point and the output. If I press O, I set the out point or the out marker and then I'll move to bar 2 and press I for the in marker. That essentially allows me to set my loop points also using this new edit cursor. Now one of the other big advantages of this is you can do edits while playback is occurring, while you're basically looping over a section. You can continue to do these kinds of edits. So I'll do that during playback here. That's really helpful if you're just trying to isolate something that you're trying to edit out or move and you are waiting for that one cue point, you can point to it, hit the slash, and do that edit right while you're playing back. And that's essentially how this works. You can set the in point and the out point by pointing to where you want the in marker to be, press I, and you can do the same thing with the out marker press O and it follows this edit cursor. Now if you don't want to use it and you prefer the way that it behaved before, just go to general behavior and you can turn it off by dis deactivating or deselecting use the edit cursor position for editing operations. And that's the way the edit cursor works in waveform. Thanks for watching.